A clockwork field. An area contaminated by the corrosion. Chock full of infected people roaming the land, looking for prey to corrupt. They say that even breathing the air in those places is dangerous. Back then, when I was still looking for a cure for my own ailment, I set off on a trip around the world. After all, I had nothing better to do. I figured that the cure for such a terrible disease would not come served up on a silver platter. Or, hmm, so I thought. The dangers of such areas must not be understated. I stared clear of them for a while. But after twelve months of searching in vain, alone and scared, my mind was finally made up. If a cure to the corrosion existed, then maybe, just maybe, it could be found in such a terrible place. A place where no sane man would dare set foot. What are you trying to tell us? That I was not a sane man anymore. Did you bring us here intentionally, Isaurus? As much as I'd like to say, I'm kidding, I'm not. Focus. This is nothing we can't handle. I will commend your soul to the gods. Commend your soul to the gods. Take this! <clears throat> I will commend your soul to the gods. <clears throat>
of the way. So much for the shortcut. The whole region is corroded. I guess we'll have to find another way. There is no other way. The path you must take is right here. What? What is this? It's a magnetic repulsor, or mag rep, if you will. As long as this little gizmo keeps beeping, it repels corrosion-bearing particles within a 60-foot perimeter. That means you two will be safe, as long as you stay in my oil-stenched vicinity. That's quite valuable. It is. Quite hard to make, too. I should know. I made this one. Are you sure it's safe? The prospect of losing my last bodily members to the corrosion is not very tempting. Yet I'm willing to put their fate in the hands of this humble little device. You're free to decide if you're willing to do the same, or not. So, you're coming? We can hold hands if you want. You can't possibly be serious. How can you ask us to just trust this machine and you with our lives? <laughs> this is nuts. Celine and I aren't ready to... Celine! Well, so far so good. Nice. What the hell? It's the only way forward. We have to trust him. Excellent. I could go on and on about how reckless you are, Celine. I know. Come now. We have a clockwork field across. Does your machine also repel the corroded Yosaurus? No. But it features a small compartment with candy inside. What? Ooh, may I have one? Oh, oh of course. <laughs> Where are my manners? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I'm the sanest person here. What are these... things? Emerging from the ground? Those would be limbs. But they're gigantic! I don't understand. Well, given sufficient time, the corroded slowly dissolve and fuse together. Doing so, they form all different kinds of amalgamations. Just like these. Are these things alive? 
Oh, I've seen hundreds of these creatures, but I've only ever seen them move slightly once or twice. Reassured. Reassured. Hundreds? See that strange rock over there? Well, that's no rock, but you'll see for yourselves when we get there. Is this what I think it is? Lady and gentlemen, here is what we are looking for. Well, a statue of it, at least. The silver-haired goddess. It looks like she's an object of worship to the Corroded, so much that they band together and fuse to erect these gigantic replicas in her honor. Wait, you said she was the cure? Yes. What pathetic slivers of my existence remain, I owe it to her. Back then, I spent the most painful months of my life looking for a cure, but I had no idea what I was looking for exactly. But these statues were spread around every clockwork field I crossed. At the time, I knew she must be important. So I began looking for her. I figured she was the key. I was right. Even though in the end, she's the one who found me. She used an unexplainable form of magic on me, drained me of the corrosion. She took something from me. Something I felt was hers. It only took a quick touch, the caress of a needle and endless waves of pain surging through my body. In the blink of an eye, I suffered a thousand deaths, but I was cured. And just as quickly as she came, she disappeared. She saved me from the corrosion, but left me to die there, short of two legs. Two legs? I thought... your arm. The arm, I... had to cut that off myself a few weeks earlier. It turned against me. Turned against you? It tried to strangle me in my sleep. It is a peculiar experience, feeling unwanted by your own body. That must have been horrible. It was. But here I am, a testament to human resilience. But first I need to retrieve the stone on the statue's forehead. Why is that? A short version? We need it. What for? Continuation, to find the real silver-haired goddess. It'll be done in a few seconds. Oh, and by the way, I hope you're ready for an invasion. What invasion? An invasion of the corroded. What, do you think they're just going to stand by and let us deface their statue? No, not the priestess. Eyes on me. I am your opponent.
I hope this thing is worth the trouble. What is it? The closest thing that corroded metal can do to emulate crystals. So, the corroded worship their own goddess and try to create the equivalent of crystals on their own. Exactly. Let's not stay here. Yeah, let's not. The corroded aren't as aggressive as they were in Ulthara. Well, I caught the corrosion. Maybe they think I'm family. By extension, you get a free pass. I still have a lot of questions. Will you be able to keep them to yourself until we reach Herelsor? No longer than that. That was our deal. Let me get this straight. You told me you saw at least one of the giant statues move, right? True. <laughs> the Corroded are slowly building up their forces. And the day they decide to take on Harrion, we'll have another war in our hands. One that could be even more devastating than the one we're fighting now. Why didn't you? Why didn't I tell everyone? Oh, I did tell everyone. I was the drunkard in the scrapyard, remember? Nobody believed me. It's up to me then. I must warn the consort. They need to know another war is brewing. 
And what would the consort do about it? I don't know. Purify as many clockwork fields as they can before the situation gets desperate. And burn half the land? What about the corroded? For all we know, these people could still be saved. Listen, I know better than anyone that the consort are ruthless. But they're still soldiers. Men and women ready to sacrifice their lives to protect Harrion. They deserve to know what's coming at least. And will they believe you? Darian, I don't want to rub it in. But if it wasn't for me, you would have been executed already. You're right. But I've got to do something. I have to find a way to warn them. Or find a cure before the situation gets worse. Let's talk to the merchants and see if we can travel with them to Avarice. So, here we are. Ask away. Let's start from the beginning. Who exactly are you? Isora Samaricius Firebrand, fourth of the name. Former heir to the House of Firebrand, Laureate Emeritus of the Imperial School of Wizardry. Wandering outcast, apprentice cipher, and the only known survivor of the corrosion. And the only person on Harrion capable of finding the silver-haired goddess. Is that all? Apart from being the world's most knowledgeable man on the corrosion, my other speciality is losing things. Losing things? I have lost everything that can be lost by a man. Lost an arm? Check. Legs? Check. A loved one? Check. My status and power, check. The ability to cast magic, check. Magic? How? Lost my keys, once, check. 
This pendant here, I lost it once. My pants, my mind, my lunch. Check, check, and check. See? I am an expert on loss. You haven't lost your life. I lost what was my life. That's close enough. Tell us more about the one you call the Silver-Haired Goddess. The Silver-Haired Goddess? She's on Avarice, I can tell you that much. Somewhere near Twisted Peak, actually. There's a clockwork field there. More fearsome than any other. She lives there. Will she help us? If she's truly a goddess, then she will. But we're not even sure she is. I believe she will listen to us, but helping us? Well, that's another thing. Why not? She cured you. Yes, and you know the funniest thing about that? I didn't even want to be saved anymore. What? I was actually on the ground begging for somebody, anybody, to kill me. I had given up. And blip, here she comes out of nowhere, turns me on my back, and lays her hands on me. A few seconds later, I was cured. Describe her. Small. Apologetic. Sad. There was something otherworldly about her. I suppose that's natural for a goddess. But it might have been because my vision was blurry. Sorry, that's all I can remember. Did she use some form of magic? I don't know. What else could it be? If it's a form of magic, I can learn it. So if something happens to the silver-haired goddess, you can take her place? I'm not joking. What if she refuses to help us? What if she dies? Is she even a goddess? What if she loses her power at some point? We must be prepared for every possibility. I see your point. So... So what? The moment has come for you to decide if we part ways or if I stay with you. I can give you the rep mag and draw you a map of the silver-haired goddess's location. So you won't have to keep me around if you don't want me here. Which is something I'd understand. Of course you're coming with us. What are you talking about? You can hold your own in a fight and you know more about the corrosion than anyone else. What do you think, Celine? I agree. Your expertise is invaluable. We would be grateful to have you with us. Well, you didn't have to go so far. But I'm grateful that you would let me stay. I have one last question. Do you know if the one you call the Silver-Haired Goddess was corroded when you saw her? Hmm. As I said, my vision was blurry. If she was, I didn't see it. Thank you. I need some time to think about all this. Do you mean sleep? Exactly. It is time. Yes, oh, exactly. It's about time you released me. Hey, where do you think you are going? Hey, he's coming for us. You. Why did you capture us? Why are you keeping us here? I have a family. Solna. They're probably hungry. Waiting for me. They need me. Oh, I beg of you. You two will answer my questions. And you will not lie. I pray to Krator, okay? I'm Arcadian. We're, we're big on Arcanite technology. So, the God of Lightning. It's 
seemed like a good idea. Everyone thought it was a good idea. I also pray to Ansel from time to time. Whoa, sounds like lip service, man. How the hell would you know? And you. I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, why should I pray to the gods in the first place? Before your flunkies got to me, I was going to war. <laughs> Do you know how many years they've been at it? A lot of years. I will probably die out there, okay? Just like the rest. The gods didn't raise a finger for them, and they won't raise a finger for me. So why should I pray to them? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know, t to be rich. Won't happen anytime soon. It's a stupid question. You. I had big dreams once. Now I... I just want my family to be safe. I don't even know what happened to them since you brought me here. I'll do anything you ask if you'd let me go back to them. Anything. Two children. One of them beats the other in an act of pure cruelty before your very eyes. Do you chastise the perpetrator or comfort the victim? I'd rather comfort the beaten child than punish the one who misbehaved. Our duty is to protect the innocent. Always. And you? I'd get the crying one a stick and we'd go and beat up a little twerp together. Consolation and revenge. Two birds, one stone. Pure genius, I know. You have to choose. Nah, man, I don't. I don't need to choose either if I can find my own solutions. What? What's happening here? Is this thing floating? <sighs> hey, hey, uh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Hey, no! It, it was a question about the kids, right? It, it was about the kids? Well, listen, I, I choose to console the beaten child, okay? I'll pray to the gods you want. I'll pray to any gods you want. Just, just stop this, okay? I'll pray to Krator. I'll pray to Ilvan. I'll pray to Gansel. Please, just, just stop this. No. Please, stop it. Please. Let's get to work.